Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg is one of the thousands of local community members who peacefully marched the streets of Sacramento this past weekend. So we wanted to welcome him here back on the show to talk about his experience and how Sacramento as a city is doing. Welcome back to the show, Mayor Steinberg. Good to be with you, Aubrey. So tens of thousands of people from the community and beyond, they flooded downtown Sacramento streets last Saturday for a peaceful protest for our rights that was organized by local filmmaker Dion Taylor and Sacramento Kings assistant coach Bobby Jackson. Looking back, Mayor, how do you feel about that moment? Well, it was a profoundly powerful and impactful moment for me and for thousands of people in our community. Uh, Saturday's rally at Cesar Chavez Park in the march combined with the die-in protest uh, around my home, 1,500 people that I didn't attend because the organizers did not want me to. They wanted me to hear the message. Um, was also profoundly impactful and moving to me because this is not just like another chapter of, uh, uh, of protest and then let's move back to our lives and let's move on. Um, the discomfort, the pain, the anguish, we have to hold on to here in this community because uh, the wonderful words uh, that were spoken, the passion um, is important, but only actions heal. And that's the stage now where we must move to and move to quickly around police reform, around uh, economic inequity, around systemic racism, um, because it's all been out there for a long, long time. And maybe, maybe, maybe if we keep the discomfort, that's the word that I use, and, and the feeling that I know I have had over these past 10 days, that this can be a genuine turning point. Yes, and the other thing that's kind of changed in the past week, we had a curfew, that curfew's now been lifted. Talk about how you came to the decision to get rid of the curfew. Well, I think it's fair to say that we've been criticized for not imposing the curfew early enough and criticized for imposing the curfew at all and not lifting it sooner, which is part of uh, what it means to be a leader. You, you make the best judgment that you can. After two nights of property destruction and looting a week ago, Saturday and Sunday nights, we came to the conclusion uh, in conjunction with our police chief and our manager and my city council colleagues that the imposition of a curfew would give us one additional tool to frankly protect the protesters, to be able to protect the public and to be able to uh, minimize the chance that we would have a repeat of what occurred a week ago, Saturday and Sunday. So we made the decision firmly, but reluctantly. And after Friday night, which was the peaceful and powerful demonstration uh, in my neighborhood uh, that was directed towards me, uh, that I came to the conclusion and my colleagues did as well that the very next morning was the appropriate time to lift the curfew. Um, and to try to uh, not get back to normal, but to at least allow uh, our community to return to uh, its normal hours because we had demonstrated in the most powerful way that we could send the message, that people could send the message in a way that did not include the, all the negative. Another thing that's changing is we had National Guard members that were deployed here June 1st. That also ended this past Saturday. What factors went into ending the deployment? Well, the same thing, uh, the same factors that went into ending the curfew because the two went together. The National Guard was another reluctant decision. And um, even though they did a good job, I didn't like the appearance of it, nobody did. But it was an extra measure uh, to ensure that past Sunday that the demonstrations which were massive, were peaceful. And they largely were after, uh, after Sunday night. And, um, and, and so when it was time, the first moment it was time to say no more, um, we said thank you and, and then uh, they have left. And I hope that they're not coming back and a curfew is not coming back. Um, 
And, you know, much depends upon our next steps. I saw so many signs in the protests, but, you know, the one I think that's simple and resonates with me is no justice, no peace. Now, that does not justify in any way, and I've spoken out very clearly and loudly against anybody who engages in in criminal activity, uh, because that's not protest. But I think we have to recognize that this moment is larger than any of us. It's even larger than our city. It's larger than re- recounting all the good things we have done to uh, to improve our police practices, which our chief um, and our city have done, uh, especially since the Stepan Clark shooting. But people don't want us to just say what we've done. They want to know what we're going to do going forward to build on what we have started. And that's exactly what our obligation here is. All right, Mayor Steinberg, it's always great to have your insight and to have you join us here on the show. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.